Hey, I continue to work through my list of problems from the MIT integration view for 2016. I'm on to problem 13. There's a good rhythm here between 11 and 18. They're all kind of moderate. I'm skipping 12. 12 was just super tedious. I don't know why they had 12 on there. So I'm going to continue on with 13. So we have here the integral of sine, sine x, cos, sine x, sine x, dx. Okay, clearly, we're trying to create like a confusing expression here. First thing I notice is that I've copied the problem down wrong, so we're going to make a change. So yes, we have here on the board the integral of sine, sine x, cos, sine x, cos x, dx. And my very first thought when I was looking at it, I was like, okay, we don't want to have a trig function inside another trig function. So yes, making a substitution u equals sine x, that would work fine, and we could integrate it pretty easily. But what I thought might be a little better is if we notice, if we make this our u, the derivative of this is cosine sine x, but then the chain rule will give us a cos x. So let's just see how this is going to work. Now, when we take the derivative of this thing, like I said, we'll have cos sine x, but then we'll have to differentiate our sine x, and we get another cos x dx, which is just all of this. So what that'll do is it gets our integral real simple. We're just going to have u integral of u du. Integrating that is u squared over 2 plus c. I'm going to back substitute like I always do. So then for our final answer, we just have sine sine x all squared over 2 plus c. That's it. That's our answer. If you're interested in seeing some more videos, uh, more integrals and in MIT integration problems, I have another channel, Owl School of Math. I'll post the, link in, the links in the description if you want to see some videos there. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a good day.